The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you need some help, feel free to give us a call at 563-503-6910. That's 563-503-6910. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney here at O'Flaherty Law. My practice areas include business transactional matters as well as uh, some family law and employment. I practice here in the state of Iowa. Now today we're going to talk about marriage annulment in Iowa. Marriage annulment is a separate from divorce in Iowa. Instead of ending a valid marriage, an annulment means that no valid marriage took place in the first place. If either of the parties can show the marriage is invalid, you may be able to have the marriage annulled. In Iowa, there are a number of different ways or rationales for why a marriage can be annulled. Some examples include incestuous marriage, whether you and your spouse are related by blood. The standard here is first cousins or closer in relation. Impotence, which is now not always traditionally used. Either spouse was impotent at the time you were married. Bigamy, you or your spouse was already married at the time you were married. Incompetence, you or your spouse was legally incompetent and under the guardianship of another party at the time of marriage. And finally, being under the legal age to marry. Either you or your spouse was under the age. There are additional requirements for some of these grounds to annul a marriage. If one spouse has had a previous spouse when the parties were married, but that spouse dies, the current spouses are still living together after the death, the marriage won't be annulled. Additionally, if the current spouse continues to live together after the previous marriage is dissolved, the current marriage won't be annulled. As for underage spouses, if the spouse is under 18 at the time of marriage, and there is proof that the spouse lied about their age, the marriage won't be annulled unless the underage spouse wants to annul the marriage, and can show proof of their real age prior to their 18th birthday. If the spouse is either 16 or 17, they may still have a valid marriage if their par parents consent and the judge approves. Should this happen, the marriage will not be annulled in the future. Finally, if a person gets married at 16 or 17 and the judge approves the marriage over the objection of the, uh, their parents, the marriage cannot be annulled. How does one get an annulment in Iowa? The simple um, answer is you file a petition for annulment. This document is similar to how you would file for a divorce. You must file the petition with the district court in the county where either you or your spouse live and either you or your spouse must have lived in Iowa for over a year. Similar to a, a divorce, the spouse spouse filing the annulment will be referred to as the petitioner, other spouse will be referred to as the respondent. The petition will state that the spouse has lived in Iowa for at least a year. It'll state the both parties' names, birth dates, and addresses, and finally it'll state the rationale for the annulment. Now there will be a hearing in front of a judge where the spouses will have a chance to testify to the rationale or the reason why the marriage should be annulled. Should the judge believe you have met the requirements for annulment, it will be granted. If the other spouse doesn't dispute the annulment, the judge would simply submit an order and have the annulment granted immediately. What is the effect of an, annul an annulment in Iowa? If a judge grants the annulment, you and your ex-spouse will be treated as if you have never uh, been married. You can legally say that you were never married. Any funds or property the spouse has had from the marriage will be divided by the judge. If one spouse lied in order to make the other spouse believe the marriage is valid, the judge could order the lying spouse to financially compensate the other spouse. Finally, a marriage may still be annulled even if the, sp the spouses have had children together during the marriage. The court will decide whether the children are legitimately the spouses, and if they are, the judge can require one or both parents provide financial support to the child. In general, the court will order the children from an old marriage, or the court will order that the children from an old marriages are legitimate unless proven otherwise. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our firm. 
Thank you very much and have a nice day. Hi, Kevin O'Flaherty again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need some help, please feel free to give us a call at 563-503-6910. That's 563-503-6910. We have many geographical locations for your convenience and we practice several areas of law. Thanks again for watching.